Hi, in this video you will learn how to debug applications using Apple Studio. We will see how to set up and control breakpoints, how to control the execution using breakpoints, how to define conditional breakpoints, how to run to a particular point in your code, and finally how to stop and interrupt the execution. Let's move to our example. This is our class application. To set up breakpoints, we will select one of the features in our class. Let's see the features. We have the make, list, spell, traverse, and slice. Let's start with make. We'll click on make and drop into the feature tool. We will see the flat view. The empty circles indicate the breakpoint positions that are the places where you want to stop or interrupt the execution. Click on it and you will enable the breakpoint. Let's use another feature, let's say fill, drop into and click on it, enable. To control the breakpoints in your application, Apple Studio provides a group of icons in the toolbar. This one will show the existing breakpoints and their status in your application. Okay, this is the breakpoints tools and you will see we have a breakpoint in Mike feature and the other one in Phil. The next one, this one will disable all the existing breakpoints. Okay, all the enable breakpoints. So let's do that. Okay, now all of them are disabled. Let's enable one more. And if we click this one, it will enable all the disabled breakpoints. In this case, this in full and this one in make. Okay, run it. Click on it, sorry. Okay, and now they are all enabled. Finally, if we click here, we will remove all the breakpoints. Okay. Now we will go to make again and we will define a breakpoint. Just a little comment if you want to disable a particular breakpoint, enable it, for example, this one. Right click, it will open, uh, sorry, let's uh, move this here. So right click and you will disable the background and it will turn into the gray color. So now we'll move to the execution. To execute, we will use the run button and it will stop at the first enabled feature. In our application, we have two, two Two, 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 two breakpoints, one is enabled and the other one is disabled, so it will stop at this point in the make feature. So let's run, and the marker will show the execution progress, and it will always point to the next operation to be executed. And also when you run in the debug session, you will see the object tool, the watch tool, and the call stack. This is important, those tools are important because they will sh show us the current objects and their values. So, to control the execution of the breakpoints, we will have uh, different options step by step, as we show in the slides, step by step, using the shortcut F10, step into a routine and step out a routine. Um, you can use uh, the icons in the toolbar, as we will see in a few seconds, all the shortcuts are as described here. Let's move to the to the IDE. So, the, the, these are the um, icons. This one is for step by step. This is for step into. You can see also the tooltip, and this one is a step up. Let's start using the step by step. You click F10 and the marker will be moving to the color. The operation are executed Y by one. Note, you, you have now that the routines are executed as single operations. So if you want to go into a particular routine, we will need to use step into. We will use the shortcut F11. And now, we are now in the traverse routine 
If you check the call stack, it was updated. We are now. This one shows the active routine. So, suppose that now you want to finish the current execution of Traverse for some reason. To do that, we will use the step out. A step out will finish the current execution and will bring us to the next instruction of the current routine. In our case, make. So let's click on step out and it's move us to the you can see the call stack was updated and now we are in the print, the next instruction. So this is uh, how the step out step in um, step in and step by step works. Now let's uh, define a conditional breakpoint. Let's move to a slice preacher. <coughs> Click on a slice and drop it here. And um, we will define a conditional breakpoint at this point. Uh, let's enable the breakpoint. Right click and let's say that we want to stop the execution when the index in the list has the value 4. So let's put the condition here in the condition input for let's add a tag conditional ok and click ok now the breakpoint has a, a question mark indicating that it is a conditional breakpoint you can also check in the breakpoint tools and you will see the details let's run and let's check if the code is stop when the index has the value 4. Run. OK. The uh, execution stop at the at this point. Now we need to check if the loss has the value 4. Loss index. We use the watch tool. And OK. It has the value 4. Finally, we need to see how to use the uh, run to this point feature. Suppose now that you want to um, move to this part of the to this point. You can right click here and say run to this point, and you will see the marker is now pointing to this particular point. And basically, this is regarding to the execution and how to control it. Um, finally, we need to see how to stop and interrupt the execution. To stop the execution you can use the shortcut as we show in the slides or we can use the icon in the toolbar. This will stop. And uh, This one is the interruption button and it's, uh, it's uh, useful when you have long running applications and it will stop at the closest potential breakpoint position in your code. And as uh, you can see here, it will show the call stack, the watch tool, and the object tool, so you can see the current status of your code. Finally, remember that it's not possible to set breakpoint on attributes, invariants, or external features. So if you want to learn more, go to the Apple or site in this page and read the documentation about debugging in it. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you soon.